Hello, people. Blessings to all. Praying all is well. Today's fragrance company we're going to talk about is Black Cliff, and they're located out of Barbados. Black Cliff begins at dusk with a roar of the ocean, launching sea spray over the cliff that you can call home. Inspired by natural landscape, animalic, floral, and fauna, and surf gently thrusting against rocks and soil. Black Cliff perfumes harmonize the elements of fruit, spices, and herbs in woody undertones into versatile, voluptuous elixirs distilled from premium ingredients that provide a distinctive, memorable signature scent. Cliff. And I want to thank uh, Black Cliff and um, Lee Abrams for putting together these giveaways so we can have a chance to win something. You know, I won this in the giveaway and I want to thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Okay, the first fragrance we're going to talk about is Mr. Pink. Now, our first spray with Mr. Pink. It reminds me of uh, Frank Olivier's Oud Vanille. Even though the Oud Vanille, it doesn't have cotton candy in it, but it smells similar to it to me, like more on the dry This day. fragrance is smoky, and it has a smoke accord in it. And it also is bitter, for, I guess from that oak moss. But off first spray, you get a blast of cotton candy. Love how that cotton candy smells up at the top, but it doesn't last for very long. This fragrance is sweet up top, but not overbearing. Plus, it has some tartness to it. I can smell those flower notes from that saffron. I can smell that vanilla, and I also get that leather in this fragrance. Dry down, it's very smoky and very citrusy, and it's bitter all at the same time. This fragrance right here, it will work wonders in the winter time. This fragrance is right up my alley. It projects on my skin for about two hours. After about six hours, it becomes a skin scent, but you can smell this fragrance for up to 10 hours. If you're just in the freshies, this fragrance definitely won't probably be for you, but it's a bomb boom fragrance for me. Next fragrance we're going to talk about is Sexy Eyes. In our first spray, this fragrance is fresh, it's fruity, it's sweet, in a clean kind of way. This fragrance, it smell like Jolly Ranchers to me. But you also can smell those white florals. You can smell that black currant, that pear, that juniper berry, and also that tonka bean. All those notes, it mix well together with this fragrance. As this fragrance starts to settle down a little bit in the mid, it starts to smell minty, lemony, and you can still smell that Jolly Rancher smell in the fragrance with those added woods in the background. Off first spray, this fragrance, it didn't wow me because it smelled like Jolly Ranchers. Now, if I never smelled Jolly Ranchers before, it would have definitely wowed me, but it smelled like Jolly Ranchers, but in a mature type of way. It's definitely not a childish fragrance by any means. You get a lot of woodiness in the dry down. If a man wear this fragrance around his woman, she'd probably be all over him, like fruit flies or banana pills. This fragrance. I believe you could wear this fragrance all year round, but probably, you know, it's probably suited for winter and fall. But like if you wear it in the summertime or spring, gotta be like on one of them cool nights. This fragrance, it projects on my skin for around two hours. It leave a nice scent bubble for around five hours. After that, it comes into like a skin scent, but it's real woody and you don't get any more traces of that citrus. This is a bomb boom fragrance for me for sure. The next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Limewood. And our first spray, you get a blast of citrus from that lime and that bergamot. Our first spray, when I smell it, 
I get like that lemon head smell. It smell like lemon heads. You remember that candy? That's what I smell. After a few minutes in this fragrance, you start to pick up some lavender. I believe that's from that clary sage and that spice coming from that black pepper. It has like the perfect balance. It's not too spicy. It could be worn in winter, fall, early spring. It's green, it's fresh, but the freshness, it only stays for like a few hours. Then after that, this fragrance turns smoky and dusty. And this fragrance, it only projects on my skin for like an hour and a half. And after six hours, it turns into a skin scent. But is this a bomb boom fragrance for me? Yes, it is. It's different. And I like the fragrance we're going to talk about is Blinding Light. Now, Blinding Light, on first spray, it smells like how licorice tastes. And I hate licorice. But it doesn't smell that bad. It actually smells kind of good. I'm probably getting that licorice vibe from that coconut and that tuberose. And at the same time, after about 10 minutes, you start to get like this green tea vibe with some vanilla mixed in. Got three compliments on this fragrance in one day, and one person didn't like this fragrance. This fragrance, it projects on my skin for about two hours. This fragrance, it stays on the skin heavy for like seven hours. So the projection might be a little bit longer. Also, this fragrance, it turns into a skin scent after about seven hours and it lasts on your skin for around 12 hours. Though on first spray, I'm not too fond of licorice, the way licorice tastes, so it has that smell. There's gotta be a bomb boom fragrance. I mean, you gotta factor in the three compliments in one day. The last fragrance on the list we're gonna talk about is Beautiful Monster. And on first spray, you get a little bit of syntheticness for about 10 seconds. Then after that, I get a blast of cool freshness up my nose. It's like when you eat a peppermint and you know how you get that, that blast of mint up your nose? That's what I get from this fragrance. I think that's coming from that geranium that's in the fragrance. The mint is very prominent in this fragrance. The note breakdown says geranium in the mid, but I get it right off the top on first spray. This fragrance, it smells great to my nose. This might be the best one, but I believe it could be running neck and neck with Mr. Pink. At the dry down, you start to get those spices that's very well pronounced. You get that black pepper and you get that cinnamon. And also, it's a little smoky. And I think that's coming from that birch wood in this fragrance. This fragrance, I get three hours of projection and this fragrance lasts on my skin eight to 10 hours. Is this a bomb boom fragrance? Yes, Flat Cliff. They have some very unique fragrances for niche lovers. These fragrances are not for beginners who love that everyday fresh scent. I like all five of these fragrances. They all have their own DNA and I look forward to spending more time with all five of these fragrances. Do me a favor, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances or not. Do you like them? What do you think of them? Are they bomb boom fragrances for you? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll get notified when I put up new content. Ladies and gents, I suggest you get these fragrances if you like something different. I suggest you get these fragrances for someone special on their birthday. Get them for Valentine's Day. Get it for Christmas. Get it just cause. Hell, get it for Easter. Cause y'all gonna smell good for each other. Look, that's my time. I'm your guy, Big Toast from Bomb Fragrances, and I'm out. Boom! That's juice in my cup. Go ahead, bartender, pour it up. That's my song. Cut it up. Hit the dance floor. We about to turn it up. We about to let it go. 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 About to let it go. Fame majors got niggas in fear. On the job, first day, automatic. I'm about to send these niggas, I ain't paying the rears Make a new side metal chains, just so we can hang on some ghost rider shit The Tesla, let me ghost ride the whip Surfboard, surfboard, fuck around and ghost ride your bitch Ass fatter than Trina, when she would slip, slide and dip I